What a lovely day to be alive, I reckon, mate. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Carl's driving. Where are we going? We're going for a run down the beach because it's fucking lovely. I didn't really want to go to the gym today. I've been stuck inside all day, so. Do you mind, mate? I'm, I'm, I'm vlogging. Sorry, mate. <laughs> um, going for a run, and then we're going to go get some bits, maybe in Nike. I feel like a bit of a shop. I'm trying to save, but we can't help ourselves, can we, mate? And then we're going to go to Waitrose, show you guys a few bits and bobs to buy in different supermarkets this week. Fun times. So I've just given Callum a password to my phone and he's like this. <laughs> trying to work it out. I was about to say it to everyone there. So I'm going to do no gym workout today. I'm just going to get outside because it's lovely out. So we're going to do a run around this great big area. Five rounds. Five rounds, round one, 50 press ups, round two, 40, round three, 30, then 20, then 10. So if we're working down in 10s, five sets, let's see how this much this ruins me. All right, let's go. Just off a of high fives to little kids, Jack. Oh. Oh, me, mate. That's done me in. Oh. <laughs> right, so we're going to create a diet guide using every supermarket. First one's Waitrose and Lidl, Sainsbury's, all of them on like top 10 things to buy. I'm gonna go do Waitrose first, let's do it. And a whole pack of that, you like 140 calories, 16 protein, decent. 73p per 100 grams, 16 protein. This one, 21p per 100 grams, per 100 grams, You've got five protein, mix it with whey protein, and you've got 25 protein for less money. Thank you very much. And it tastes better. But these are super healthy, right? Really good for you. Mix that with some chicken, you're laughing. Serves two, right? Half a pack, 410 calories, 28 protein, and it'd be banging. You ain't got to learn to cook, boys. Just get out from the missus. This is Aldi. We've got some chicken, mushrooms, peppers, red onion, and in fact, right, spicy chicken and rice, but it's going to take about 10 minutes, so it's so simple. The chicken's already diced, bought from the supermarket from Aldi. Mushrooms are going to go down the microwave. I'm going to chop this up and put it on the um, pan first with a pepper. 
and then that's when you go to micro so it's so sim simple there isn't anything um, special to it so people like to use it excuse me I don't know how to cook like nor do I but it's really easy to just do it um, so we're going to use some fry light so it's going to be a super easy tasty clean meal that I'm making in the middle of the day hopefully you can do this week and prep it for lunch the next day or whatever um, and obviously take the microwave back to voice right, right, to work with you and this microwave that will work so, and it doesn't take very long at all so one bread onion going in let's see if this makes me cry I remember a time where I even had a peeled onion do you have a peeled onion? ish don't you have to chew chewing gum to like stop you crying I think you get used to it some, but some onions are worse than others mm. The soon now, but I don't really get a problem. But depends how emotional you are, really. It normally depends on how <laughs> strong the onion is, but <laughs> so yeah, it's gonna go on the pan. Now you're probably watching this thinking you chop so badly, Jack. Correct. Not once I've done a chef, but that's why these videos are probably quite inspiring to make you realise that you haven't got to be a chef to make this kind of thing work and be tasty and still give you what you want from your diet. It's a lot of onion as well. It's the most inspirational onion chopping I've ever seen. Yeah, you've never seen it like it, anything like it, have you? There you go, probably gonna chop my fingers off one day. So the onion's gonna go on first. I'll probably put some um, seasoning with that. I'm gonna go with a red pepper. And I've been told to cut these better from a lot of people after wasting a lot of pepper in the last one, so that is what I'm going to do. Let's see if this makes it any different, shall we? Is there progress or not? You bet there's progress. Boom. Less wastage. There's going to be a few followers that are going to be very happy with this video. Right. Throw them little bits out. The pan is still getting hot, which is a bit slow, which is annoying. It's going to add some time to the vid. I don't like these peppers too big and thick, so I'm not I'm probably going to cut them up a little bit smaller. Again, adding taste, adding nutrients into the diet, ones that I used to always never bother with before. I'd used to, I would normally just bang in the chicken and rice and some maybe a bit of spinach, but things like this add so much more taste and variety and nutrients into your diet well worth it so I'm gonna have 200 grams of chicken which I reckon will be I never normally weigh it I just eyeball it based on the pack so there's 600 grams in there so I know that 200 grams is probably that if I'm the only person eating it or if I'm sharing it later with Robin then I know that's gonna be which is what the plan is and it's gonna be about even like 200 grams per meal so that'll add in in a minute when that's cooked up a bit better. The mushrooms I'm going to put in the microwave. But this looks really simplistic, which is why I never used to, used to do these kind of videos, but people don't do it, so I'm doing it. Because <laughs> I want to see you guys all doing it. It'll make such a difference if you're consistent with your diet. So mushrooms, I'm going to keep these full this time. And just bang them in the microwave to add some volume to the meal. So, how many are we going to have? That'll do. Obviously, if they're chopped up, they cook a bit faster, but that's probably going to take a bit of a while. So, that goes in for like five and a half minutes. Season that. You can have spicy paprika and a bit of coriander today.
That will start smelling nice in a minute. And this is the, this is the day we're about to make a decision where Callum's going to have to have tuna for lunch, otherwise Robin's going to start disliking him if, she's, if he, he eats her chicken. How do you feel about like that, mate? That's fine. Heartbreak, <laughs> <laughs> heartbreak. <laughs> Inside I'm crying. <laughs> Tuna for the fourth day in a row. <laughs> once again I am going to add some spinach at the end as well. So once that's good, a bit more of the chicken will go in. Keeping the surface nice and tidy. There are not many meals left in this kitchen. I'm very excited to be moving in 12 days, not counting or anything. Add the last little bit of fry like before the chicken goes on. It smells good, doesn't it? it? Smells delicious. On there. Okay, this is kind of for the people who are like, chicken and rice is boring. There's a reason why I've been able to eat chicken and rice so often for the last like four years. It's because it, it can be made to taste really fucking nice. Like one of my favourite meals is paella. And all this is, this is basically paella without the treats and prawns and the right kind of rice. So it's not really paella at all. But, <laughs> but I, I can literally eat chicken and rice every day because I always add like a little different ingredient or a little different sauce or spice or... Do you know what I mean? Like always something a little bit different to it. You can always have that, different, that, that edge to it. And it always comes out pretty nice. It's, it's really quick and easy to make. And um, yeah, we'll always add some pink salt as well. Like when you get to a position, like I'm not good at cooking, but when you can make a meal taste nice and it doesn't take very long to make, it's so easy to be lean. Like this is taking quicker than it would make take to make fucking something unhealthy. And it tastes as good, well not maybe, maybe not as good as a Domi's. Definitely not as good as a Domi's, but it's tasty. I can't good. believe you compare that to a Domino's. <laughs> but what I was saying before the canon was like, when you can make things, I never used to be able to do things like this, and my diet would be so boring, and if I wanted to be in shape, it would be a case of, right, I have to eat boring to be, to be in shape. Whereas now, I don't. And I'm excited about eating this. Whereas previously, when you just eat really boring, healthy only stuff, like, and what people think they need to eat to lose weight, do you know what I mean? Like, this is just a much better way of staying or getting lean because you enjoy the whole process. And there it is, that took like what, eight minutes? Jack's lunch looks banging. Let's take a look at my lunch. <laughs> 